everybody, AJ Rizek here. Today we're going to take a look at how to add a little extra functionality to your file manager in Ubuntu Unity and then also with the GNOME desktop. Uh, the file manager in both of those is, uh, it's now called Files, used to be called Nautilus, and what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, via Nautilus Actions, we're going to add some extra functionality to it. And let me go and start it up here for you just so you can see what we got by default and then you can compare what we got um, <clears throat> now if you go and right click any of your folders here you know you've got a menu you've got you know open a new tab cut paste uh, move to copy to rename you know some basic stuff there but uh, there's a whole lot of other functionality that uh, that you know a lot of us would like to see uh, open as root, open the terminal here, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to add some functionality here so that we can get all those extra things. Now granted there's other workarounds um, you know for doing most of the stuff that we're going to add here but this uh, kind of streamlines it especially for those of us that you know if you've got to open a terminal at a certain place uh, you know as a, a certain uh, a certain file or folder or whatever um, or if you're all the time going and opening such and such as root you know uh, those kind of functionalities but anyway um, let me go and open up Google Chrome here and this PPA right here Nautilus Actions Extra Team uh, we're going to add this PPA right here um, and you can see the list here and what we're going to add is this Nautilus Actions Extras. You can see you get uh, some extra search functions, audio converters, calculate size, um, you know the list, you know fairly long list right there so anyway we're going to add this PPA right here and of course you can do this via terminal or you know however you want to do it. Um, I'm going to have to get into Synaptic anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just add it via opening Synaptic. Go to repositories. I'm going to add that to my PPA source list, close it reload and I will add links down in the video description so that you can uh, find this web page and uh, the PPA and all that kind of stuff all right so let's Isn't Nautilus Action Extra showing up? Ah, there we go. So we're going to add this mark for installation and click apply. And here we go. And I'm going to pause this while it downloads and updates and all that kind of stuff, and then we'll come back and take a look at what we got. All right. Okay, installation is complete. Now we're going to need to restart Nautilus for everything to take effect. Uh, you could go and log out and log back in. Uh, another way to do this is just open your terminal and type in Nautilus. Uh, what is it? Nautilus key. Let me check my notes here. I never can remember. I think it's Nautilus. Yeah. Nautilus space dash Q and then just type in Nautilus to restart it. Alright, there we go. So now when we go and right click, you can see we've got a whole lot of extra uh, stuff added here. We can now change the folder color. Um, now it does revert back to 
your default icon theme because that's where you know it's it's stored as colors of the default icon theme so yeah you know, of course that does make it stand out even more than uh, even more than just changing the colors um, but you can go and change that go back to default here um, anyway we could open as root there um, you can add an emblem uh, calculate the styles, check file types, do a search there. Uh, open terminal here, that is one that's very useful. A uh, couple multimedia things here, hide, unhide, and on down and so forth. Now besides the Nautilus actions that we've already added, you can make custom ones. So let me open up Nautilus See if I can spell today. There's Nautilus Actions right there. And as you can see, I just made a new one here called Edit with GIMP. And, uh, you know, it was real simple to do. It's under our label, I labeled it Edit with GIMP. And then come over here to Command. Once again, I labeled it Edit with GIMP. Let's capitalize that. Okay, the path is whatever command is needed to open that particular program. In the case of GIMP, uh, you know, it is simply GIMP. You know, if you're open with Terminal, you know, use the command to open Terminal and drop, you know, if it was Dropbox, whatever the Dropbox command was, and so on and so forth. Parameters, you know, on this particular one, we're using this percentage F, and you come over here to Legend. It gives you a list of all the various parameters. Um, you know, in our case right here, percentage F is first file name. And, uh, you know, so you get those filled out. And there's other, uh, ba the, basically, if you fill out the action and command, that's essentially all you need. Um, there's other, you know, you know settings and whatnot over here but you know basically uh, what we just did that's all you need to be able to say it, to uh, create this uh, this extra action so we'll save this let me close this up and then once again you would come here and open up the terminal so that you can restart Nautilus so, Nautilus Space dash Q and Nautilus. Open it back up. Nope. So anyway, let's let's find a picture here. I went and right click that of course I could do open with and open open it with GIMP from that from that aspect but if you come down here to Nautilus actions you can see right here I've got edit with GIMP now and I found this uh, and I'll, I'll throw a link up on uh, the, the uh, video description um, to this page and it's a few years old um, because I mean they're talking about adding these Nautilus actions to uh, Ubuntu 11.04 but it does show you um, you know give you some examples of different um, uh, you know different uh, actions that you can add I mean down here is your shred command so if you want to securely eliminate a file um, you know, it shows you how to do that. So, like I said, I'll throw a uh, a link up on here so that you can find that. Um, but that about finishes this video up. Hope that it, uh, it it proves useful for you. Gives you some ideas on different things you can do. Definitely does add some uh, some uh, extra flexibility and functionality to uh, to Nautilus or files or whatever you want to call it these days. Uh, 
Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to give me a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to share the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.